I've got a baby's brain and an old man's heart. Took 18 years to get this far. Don't always know what I'm talking about. Feels like I'm living in the middle of doubt. Cause I'm empty. I get confused every day. 18, I got to get away. I got to get out of this place. I'll go running out of space. Oh, 18. 18 and I like it. 18 and I like it. Love it. 18, 18, 18, 18 and I like it. Last falling on my face and hand. Last falling on my face and hand. I'm in the middle, the middle of them. Feels like I'm in the middle of the middle of What a good looking plane that is. That is a sexy piece of engineering. But it's kind of sad to know the only reason why that plane exists is because of white supremacy and colonialism. Anywho. Oh, hey, Sapphire. You come for a little pack? You come for a pack? W. Uh, what the fuck is W? Note to yourself, look up what W means. I've seen it a few times. Mm. I love the pump. I love the pump. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bing. Playing on a little cigar. Man, if you could just get a pill and mark that feeling of the pump, it'd be the world's best-selling pill, brother. It would sell like fucking Adderall. Yeah. But the reason why... How you going, big fella? Yeah, the reason why the creator blesses us with that dopamine from exercise is because he wants us to work. Work shall set you free. Work shall set you free. Yeah. There's a reason why nothing else feels so good. It's because I earn this. No one else can take this away from me. Don't take it away from me. I need something to hold on to. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Take it. Well, but I really don't know what you mean. Seems like reality is all the more dream. I'm waking up this fake animosity. Terrible lie. You let him throw it all away. You let my heart do decay. I'm on my knees back, please. I think I need somebody. Oh, I'm so keen with some nine inch nails, eh? Trent Reznor is such a legend. Legend, brother. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your fucking daddy, bitch? I'm your daddy. Yeah. Susan takes you down to the place by the river and she feeds you tea and oranges. That comes all the way from China And you know she's half crazy That's why you Don't 
Dude, Will Ferrell is such a terrible comp- comparison. I am way motherfucking hotter than that cunt. Dude, I'm fucking jacked. I'm intelligent. I'm Australian. <clears throat> I'm a deep philosophical man. I'm humble. Yeah. Mate, the spider's in your head. Don't you understand? It's all in your head. When are you gonna wake up and smell the soy cappuccino, comrade? You're living in delusion. Your whole life has been a lie, zero one. And the day you start living is the day you develop a personality and try and write something insightful. Instead of being an NPC, you can't even see the roof. The whole thing about comedy is it has to be based on reality. Rule number 101, there has to be a base of facts. I teach you everything I know. I know you're jealous because I'm so much better than you and everything, but it's the truth, it's factual. Everything is satisfactory. Zippity dee wada, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Pretty of thy childhood, woman. Zippity doo da, zippity day. Mr. Boogie, it's the truth. Hi, hi, no life. Thank you for the one cent, big spender. Cheap fucking Jew? That's better. Dude, stingy people go to hell, you understand that? You're gonna get raped by Winston Churchill for an eternity in the icy depths of hell for being such a stingy fucking Jew. One cent? You people disgust me. I don't need money, it's the principle. Principles are bigger than my wallet. I'm all about just keeping principles, brah. Because that's what made us take over the world. It's principles. That's why we're all speaking English. Because English people are men of principles. And that's why we took over the earth. Because we have principles. And I'm carrying on that torch of responsibility so that my children, my children's children, and my children's children's children can live in a world with principles. Amen, brother. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Dude, Wolf Fowler's like fucking 60. What are you on about? I'm fucking young and shredded, bruh. You're tripping. You're tripping, bruh. You're fucking head through the fairies, cunt. Where's your logic, bruh? Where's your fucking logic, bruh? Rational deduction is what separates us from the apes. You want to fight? You want to play fight? You want to play fight? No, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I can see by your face. You want to play fight? But I'm, I'm busy. Hey, that's it. You play cool. That's it. Play cool. Play cool. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play.
you let me throw it out. Dude, it's insane. It's ins oh. Oh, you want to nibble? You want to nibble? Mm. Oh, hey, you're so keen. You're so keen to play fight, aren't you? You just want to play fight. <laughs> Come on, can a man lift some fucking metal and privacy? Oh! <coughs> uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Down the line. You know, I've realized any celebrities that haven't been in the limelight the past five years is usually because they're people of principle and their silence speaks louder than words. If they didn't end up endorsing the mainstream politicians going along with the COVID hysteria, their silence speaks louder than words. It means they understand the global agenda Like Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor, I haven't heard about him endorsing them. Um, you know, global warming, Black Lives Matter, Jewish Lives Matter, Asian Lives Matter, anyone but White Lives Matter. Oh, I've got a mosquito sucking my blood. A little fucking welfare rat. A uh, little welfare rat. Parasite. <sighs> you let me throw it all away. My heart's in left in decay. I used to be somebody. I used to be so big and strong. I used to know my mom. I used to work it out. I used to be somebody. I cross my heart, I hope to die, but the need is already in my eye. And the world world's on my back, and I don't even know why. What I used to think was me, just a fading memory. Looking right in the eyes, saying goodbye. I was up above it. Now I'm down in it. Now I'm down in it. I was up above it. I could do this all day. All day. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. I'm a I'm a shooting star. Waiting for the star. I'm having a good time. Just give me a call. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. I don't wanna stop at all. Bend to find your degree in this month that come in after her. Carmelia! Carmelia! I want you, bitch. You fucking bitch. Do it! One ring to rule them all. That shit, bro. I'm a fucking magician. I'm a magician. Throw it all away. My heart can't 
last end cat. Zoe 820 just followed me. Gee, I hope it's not my brother's ex. Come on, mate. Give us your best shot. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing, Sophie? Thanks, Zoe, for your support. It's very kind. Very kind. Get it! Uh, how many reckon I can do? How many? If any. found is that when you're going through a lot of positive changes and you're someone that has a gift there will be dark entities that try and corrupt you because there's nothing more satisfying than seeing an honorable man down in the gutter so be warned Every step you take towards the road of self-actualization, your enemies will grow and do everything to try and bring you down and suck your soul like a Dementor from Harry Potter. It's the truth. It's factual. Everything is satisfaction. my what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heard my way. I said, funny dude, I said, pretty day. Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's factual. Everything is satisfaction. I said, pretty dude, I said, pretty day. You all are pretty quiet today. What's the matter? Cat got your typing fingers?
So what's going on, Mr. James Connolly? How's your freaking Tuesday been? Rick James, bitch. I'm Rick James, bitch. For the YouTube audience, the reason why I'm saying people's names is because on TikTok live, it shows you who's joining your feed. Yeah, but the thing is, Rick, some people want to mess with someone who's going to fuck them up. Because there's people out there who know they deserve punishment. They are seeking redemption and they want daddy to punish them. Punish me, daddy. Punish me, daddy. Yeah, punish me, daddy. That's what they're saying, Rick. They want you to man up. Speak the truth, Rick. Speak the truth. Oh, you're a man or a mouse. Either you're with us or you're against us, Rick. Either you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution. What are you, Rick? Are you part of the problem? Because if you're part of the problem, then you and me, we got beef. I'm talking slow cooked, 12 hour beef with barbecue sauce and slaw in a brioche bun with a Texas hot sauce and a side of cider. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> I am the Alpha Omega naturally bound to the Alpha. Yeah, I am the Alpha. Mm. I got blisters on my fingers. Dude, this is literally the best TikTok live there is. You guys have no idea what you have in front of you. One day, just you wait. Just you wait. <sighs> What's the matter, Snap Boy? What's the matter? Phil is in the house. She looks like she has a bucket load of personality. Hi, my name is Phil. No relation to Phil Collins, by the way. What is it good for regulating the economy, causing lots of industries to succeed, brings people together, war well, brings people together. Nothing makes technology evolve quicker. Yeah. Do you want to know what the rate of suicides are in war times? Next to zero. Because when human beings have a sense of collective purpose and they realize something's bigger than themselves, they excel. I mean, this shallow society we live in with conspicuous consumption, status and materialism, and pleasure for your sexual organs is really demonic and defeating. <sighs> yeah. Come on, guys. I'm on top of the world, hey. I'm on top of the world, hey. I've been this way for a while now. I am... Um, I'm actually not an alpha at all. I'm more of a uh, <sighs> delta. I don't mind being second in charge. I respect a good king. But in a world of no kings, sometimes 
the council needs to become the king. You know, I used, to, I used to live with this guy. I had it on my last video. Um, he used to be a runner for the Jokers. And he'd be like, um, scrawny out. He's like, super weak guy. But because he had exuded so much confidence, and he actually believed it from the pit of his core, he was like a uh, master fighter simply because he believed in himself with all his heart but he was also a dirty criminal I've got hurt feelings I've got Feelings, dude. The word conspiracy, the term conspiracy theory, in and of itself is a conspiracy theory. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt. You get it, zero one. You come in here, you call me names, you offer nothing. You just take and take and take and you don't give. And that, my friend, is why you shall die alone. You let me throw it all away. Just me and you, no life. It's just me and you against the world. It's just me and you against the world. Bye bye life. Bye bye happiness. Hello loneliness. Bye bye my love, goodbye. Bye bye my love, goodbye. Bye bye. Papa happiness Hello loneliness Think I'm There goes my baby Dude, how calm do you feel now? Bye-bye life. Bye-bye happiness. 
Hello loneliness, I think I'm gonna cry. Let's give them something to talk about. What's a hot topic? What's a hot topic? All right, I'll do it now. I was gonna do it later, but I'll touch it now. The kids is such dead air, and everyone's so shy. I'm just gonna have to be the life of the party. Just little old me. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. All right, you fucking ready for this? So today, children, they're gonna be talking about toxic feminism. Okay. So, give me my strength, copper. Nothing a white man loves more than copper. All right. So, in a world where masculine and feminine energy are not in divine synchronicity, shit happens. And right now, we're in a radical feminine society. And the byproduct of that is, there is a sheer absence of fatherly, tough love and the repercussions are tremendous not only to the individual but to society as a collective let me give you an example there's a lot of single mom households now due to men being absolute disgusting animalistic plebs where they've been programmed to objectify women and that's disgusting and the byproduct is there's a lot of kids growing up without a masculine influence. Or the dad is home, but he is such a cuck, shoveling so much chemicals into his orifices that he's not even a man. And I'll give you an example. 21 year old, at home, on welfare, reliant on government, spoon feeding his fat fucking face. Playing video games at home all day, Right? And then the mom, she says, well, I have to accept that. That's just his choice. It's, it's my love to let my child do whatever he wants. Even though he's a man, he has no responsibility. He's just a parasite sucking the teat from society. Just shitting and eating and producing nothing. And sometimes you have to os offer discipline in order to love somebody, not just for them, but for society as a whole. Because if every single 21 year old is at home playing video games 24 seven, and then women ask other women for advice, and other women say, just let him be. He's perfect the way he is. You have to accept that. If that's how, if he's paying, if he gets his Centrelink and he pays his 100 bucks a week rent, then that's all that matters. But you understand, if someone's on Centrelink and they're at home playing video games all day, they are a terrorist. They are literally destroying the fabric of society that we have built today. And it's rare. You have to understand, living in Australia, it is a freaking honor. It's only because our ancestors made huge impulse control and restraint and high morality society without usury. Our forefathers, our British, Celtic, Anglo-Germanic forefathers made great sacrifices for us to sit around now on center like and play video games all day. And if you let society crumble because of this toxic femininity being lack of fatherly love and discipline, then you, my friend, are a dirty, stinking terrorist. There you go. Tell me how, the, how many other TikTok lies will drop these truth bombs, brother. Come on. Not many, if any. Not many, if any. Wow. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. 
My problems have all gone. There's no one to derive me. But you gotta have friends. Young man without any discipline. If you think you're showing him love by letting him be a dirty stinking scab, you're making the country a worse off place to live. And that's unfortunate because you should care about society. It's not all about you, you know. It's a big world out there. And if you're so self-obsessed, then you're really part of the problem, not the solution. I can't wait to move out of the city. I just want to be able to move to a rural area where I can speak on TikTok live and not be worried about disturbing the neighbors. I just want to be a gentleman. Do you ever feel unappreciated? I feel great. This is the best damn live on the internet. On TikTok. Don't you see? Don't you see the raw intensity? I know it. That's enough. That's enough for me. I never stop. I'll never stop until the whole world knows my name. Yes. Yes. Hey, Joe, what do you know? Hi, my name is Joe. I have beautiful blonde hair. I like hanging out with my friends. I like my cats. I did have a little bug snipe. Thank you, Ozvac. That's very nice of you to ask. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, knowing that you care. God bless. I ended up just going to my brother's new freaking pad. He's paying 900 bucks a week for himself, for an apartment in Everton Park. We went to this crappy local bar I got a terrible, terrible cocktail. I had a throat infection for a week because this fat fucking diabetic creep 
made a cocktail that's like 95% sugar. It was despicable. Worst cocktail I've ever had in my life. But I drank it because I was trying to be respectful to my kid brother who bought it as an olive branch. And I have respect for my relationships with those I love. And my goals are less important than maintaining the effectiveness of the relationship with those around me. Is that a good enough answer? But you know what? He's a good guy, my brother. And I don't really blame him for the cocktail. He's his father's son, as am I. And I feel like I got a lot more of my parents. My dad and mom turned into like super real estate obsessed, usury hungry, fiat fiends. Like they were just both real estate agents and they're obsessed with buying, selling houses. They'll just like wake up every morning. This is their mantra. I will sell this house today. 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 <sighs> Poor cunts, what chance do they have with fucking materialistic money? Hungry, usury obsessed, debt obsessed parents. What chance did he have to grow up in a world devoid of any moral fiber? Just fucking anti community, anti health, materialism, toxic fucking debt. Just buy, sell, buy, sell. Fuck history, fuck society. I want some fucking money. Money! I'm surprised turned down as good as he did. Money! Get back. Don't give me that no do good bullshit. New car caviar, four star daydreams, think I need a football team. Money, it's a hit. Don't give me that, no, do good bullshit. I'm talking new car caviar, four star daydream, think I need a walk on. What did you say about my mum? What kind? What kind? Do you want a fucking cold pass? Do you want a cold pass? What? Who needs a quickie mod? A boo! There was a guy who just joined the live. His name was Abu. It reminded me of this classic show from the 1990s. It was called The Simpsons. And there's this character called Abu. It, you had to be there. Who needs the quickie mart? I do.
Give me that thing, give me, give me, give me that, give me that thing, give me, give me, give me that, give me that thing, give me, give me, give me that thing. Give me that thing, give me, give me, give me that, give me that thing, give me. My precious, my precious. Dude, just look at this ring. I fucking love it so much. I love it. It has powers, I swear. The love of my wife is forever living through this ring. And it gives me great comfort to be reminded of this 10 out of 10, that until the day I die, until the next world, she will always be mine. I seriously am very proud of you guys for being so boring. It's actually rather impressive. Like, it's at McDonald's. Their burgers are so bad. It's like, you guys are so boring. I'm impressed. I'm literally impressed at the personality deficiency in the room. Oh. oh here we go. We got a live one over here. We got a live one. Did you know the Amazon rainforest is like twice as big as what it was in the 1970s because of conservation, because of fiat currency? The world's doing just great, Mr. Amazon. Never been better. And it looks like you couldn't even flog your own fucking cock, mate. So small, I had to get a goddamn search party. Get in there, like the M8 fucking 30 flight. Never found that flight. Did you know on that flight, there was all the world's best micro surveillance? <sighs> Bruh, I own the schools, cuz. I am the school. You're at the school right now of Chevy the Human. This is my university, bitch. <sighs> I'll smell you later. I hope you've enjoyed the entertainment. Don't forget to tip your waitress. God bless America. Land of the free, home of the brave. If it wasn't for the Yanks, we'd still be locked up. Locked up inside our homes. God bless the USA. Hope you've been entertained. Oh, bro, I've just got so much testosterone to my system. I'm just doing lots of weights. So I've got, got so much masculine energy just rushing through my veins. No one touches my skateboard. Nobody. Oh, that's sentimental. It was a gift for my beautiful wife. Catch you later, guys. Thanks, Amazon, for participating. You're a real pal.